Okay, so I kind of started and then stopped and filmed it, but I don't know how many pounds because I didn't weigh this. This is what I have not looked in with this bag. But I can tell you that it was $15. So, oh, keeper. That's out of that bag. So this is the second bag. The first bag I opened real quick. And I'll show you. I got a really cool bracelet. Now, what did I do with it? Two really cool bracelets. Well, three, if you count this one. Oh my God, Gina. Oh. Well, maybe it got into the other bag. Cool, um, I don't know, porcelain, vintage, panel, flower, floral. Yeah, they're glass or porcelain, whatever. These are just cool enamel. I'll probably maybe put some together Oh my god, where's the gorgeous bracelet? Fuck. I don't, I wouldn't, I don't know why I would throw it in that bag. Like, I had, it's not this one. Shit. Well, I mean, it's, it didn't get up and walk out, so I'll find it. I'll find you. I don't know what these are. LJOS599. Any ideas? They're not finger rings, I don't think. Like a puzzle ring? I don't know. Anyway, for now we don't care. Love of India. These sell for me. This is cool. I mean, I, it's copper color and it's just heavy and it's huge. It's way too big for me. You know what I mean? Just on and off. Nice stretch. It's pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. And I do like these. Those also sell. Um, hama, hama, hama. where is that bracelet? Now it's gonna just drive me nutty nuts. I like this. Just a modern clamper. Fleur de lis. I don't know what it's called. A fleur de lis. This is too stretched out, I think. So I was thinking my sister could use those for her weaving. So I'm gonna put that aside. Oh my god, I'm just obsessed right now with that. It could be in the living room because that's where I started the other video. Was in the living room. Shoot. It was a a nice one. It was stamped. It was marked. It was cool AF. I like the stretch and I can't not lie. Uh, shotgun. Oh. So yeah, most of this is just, yeah, not so at all. Uh, another India. I love me some India. Cuff. Ornate. Engraved. Three tone. It's not what I call it. I try to put like, I try not to put tritone or whatever. I try if I have enough words to put this, I'd put brass and copper and silver tone like that because people are looking up those words. They're not looking up so much tritone. I try, I don't always do it, but I do try to use keywords that people will actually be searching. People don't, I saw somebody put prickly. <laughs> It was a spikes, it was spikes. They meant like spikes, but nobody's looking at prickly. Just they're not, trust me on that one. This one's cool, I like it. Oh God, I gotta find the other one. Bumming out, bumming out, bumming out. This one is also some kind of copper, but I don't know. This one is nice. Is this open? Feels like it should open. It's like twisted on purpose. Has a bunch of words on it. Breast. This little lone earring might have a mate. A maybe. I wanna tingle you. Where is that bracelet? God dang it. Well, I mean, it's here somewhere. I might get up after I'm done if I can't find it here. Also got some very good shit at the Goodwill today. Just saying. It's crazy. I was talking to my thrift friend, Kelly, and we're Okay, one more bracelet from this first bag. Well, and this one. I don't know if I love this one. I hate these cord things, but it's in good condition. Somebody might like it. And we were just saying, I was just saying like, damn, since the COVID, it's like the level of quality that Goodwill is getting right now, vintage, the, the amount of vintage. Oh, cool. So this is a thing. Another panel. 
love this. This is called something when it's blue and white. It has a name for the blue and white tile, ceramic, whatever. It's kind of like Danish-ish. This is just like the other panel bracelet. Super cool. Now mind you, $15. Oh, look at this phony ring. Oh, no, this ring came in there. It's got writing on the inside. I forgot I put it on my finger. Let me put the phony ring back in. It's super phony because it's like super, like a, what do you call it? Best, no. B. It's going to have a lot of shit in here. There's Travis. He's easier on these. Be brave. 925. Sweet. Right? What's it say up here? Oh, love life. Love life. 925. Be brave. Right? It's good timing for that. Um, maybe. I don't know if it's too scuffed up. Acrylic. Doesn't even look like bagel eyes. More India. India. I love me some India. I like that little heart. Can you see the little heart? Sweet. Oh, there it is. Yay. I did toss it in there. I just love it. I think it's... I don't know. I was trying to figure out. There's a safety chain. And then there's this. And there's a stamp. It might say 925, but that is, wasn't even what I was trying to see. This quality. Isn't it pretty? It's, it's Victorian looking. Um, and it's marked... Well, it's marked Sterling. <laughs> That's not what I was looking at earlier, though. There's a maker's mark. Don't you love when you're like, oh, there's a, I didn't need a clasp, safety clasp. When you have no expectations, when you pay such a cheap amount for something, and it's like, mm, whatever. And then it's like, holy shit. S-H-A-V O-N-S-H-K That's loosely what it says, writing. Some of those letters are probably right, wrong, not right. It's just gorgeous. I don't think I want to lot. Anyway, so that lot that I got yesterday, not Sunday, Monday. Although lots do come on Sunday. Each one is marked. It's like marked as shit. This just says 925 again. Something above it. Dang it. I was hoping that see the letters clearer. I mean, I loved it when I didn't. I thought first it might be bright and it says Sterling and then on one of these it says 925. It reminds me of a Victorian Revival slide. But it's just absolutely gorgeous. Darn it. And there's like a little stone in here. Stonehenge and there's a stone in there. And it will fit me. Okay, I wonder. Oh, I didn't put the little clasp on it. It's heavy, by the way. Quite heavy. Heavy. So what was I saying? Oh. The two, the eight and six pound lot that I did two separate videos and there was a Lucien Picard, Picard watch. I sold it. I sold it for 160 Quick and in a hurry. And because I didn't know how to make it run and it, it scared me. I loved it so much that I wanted it to be somewhere where somebody knows what to do with it. And the funny story is... Mm, the gal that bought it, and yes, it was a gal. She she messaged me and she said, this watch is fucking badass. And I loved every moment of it. I loved her for that. She gets it and she's like, you know, I named my watches. I'm like, you are my girl. She thinks she's gonna name him Louie. I said, I like Louie, but let's see if he tells you something different. So anyways, Moral of that story is, oh, I can't, I'm having a, sorry, this is really boring. I'm trying to get this around because it needs to be, the safety class needs to be on. Otherwise, it's just going to come off my arm real easily. So, anywho, I'll stop doing that right now. I love this bracelet. She's going to go over there. The moral of that story is, after fees and whatever, I am now for those 14 pounds. I'm on, in the clear and I'm plus 30. I'm on the plus side, 30 dollars minimum so everything now is just gravy it's gravy i love when that happens so you don't have to worry about a lot you know oh there was another one of these earrings they're not horrible i might have left it in the other room i'll 
Although I don't know why I would have done that. Okay, so I'm seeing a bunch of not things I love. Oh, I like this one. I like it. I like it. It's just a pretty little uh, statement, but delicate statement bracelet. It's making a little statement. It's saying hi. I'm pretty. Can't you see how pretty I am? Not my favorite color, but I actually kind of love it. I'll oh, probably keep it. They only paid fifteen dollars for this lot. Um. Oh, but the Goodwill in real life today. Oh my God. I don't know where I left off or where I started. This looks like it could be sterling, sterling silver. Sterling silver. And it is. It's 925. Marcosite Onyx. It's not like a thrill. I mean, I don't love it, but somebody will buy it for $10 probably. Because as I've always said, uh, not all sterling's created equal. It's marked or not. Can't tell if it's... Let me do the magnate. Magnate. Like, that's a thing. Where are you, magnet? I've got two purses on because I've been in a beat. Eeny beat, eeny beat. But yeah, Goodwill right now? Oh my god. They're on fire with the... It's... it's and my Goodwill, the... I'm so tired of leaning down, so let me go up high, right? Because I can bring the jewelry to you. This is what I'm trying to figure out, because this is even sterling. It's got a tiny little stone. Um, oh, I'm scattered. Should do be scattered, scattered. The Goodwill, for me, you know, I've been shopping there since it's opened, and... And every once in a while you'll find a little vintage. Yeah, I don't even think this is sterling. So I'm going to put it aside for now. Put it in there. We'll find out. Um, but mostly, and I've made a lot of money. No, this is going right into the booby. The booby trash. And I've done really well. But usually it's on more modern stuff. Oh, I love those. The vintage. <laughs> Chloe's in. What is happening in my world? Come. I'm gonna leave it on my wrist. Gosh darn man. Why? I'm gonna put just these common. Even though this isn't a bad, a bad one because it's pink. Pretty and pink. Anyways, the Goodwill has just been having so much. I like this. I didn't think I did. Now I do. It's very. Yeah, probably would be just fall off my wrist, but I like it. Um, yeah, it's crazy now what, what they have, like daily, sometimes twice daily, just the antiques, I'll try and, I'm going to do a hard good, it was a small haul, small haul, small haul, I was looking for, oh, let me magnet, to at least rule it in or out, and then we can go from there, I don't even care at this point, I think I feel a little pull. It's just a big old. It's ugly, so sterling would help the ugliness. If that makes sense. Um, yeah. It's crazy what they've been having at the Goodwill on a daily basis. You know, because obviously artesian jewelry, gold plated earrings. I like them. They're very vintage style. I don't think they're vintage at all because they're freaking skew, but they're definitely vintage style. And these uh, wanted. I don't think they're wanted. <laughs> what are those called again? The cross, iron cross. Oh, I saw these. Look, I saw I said, I'm gonna keep them. God, they're too cute. Oh, they're cute. They're like little dollies. They're earrings. They're like little earring dollies. So yeah, it's crazy right now at my goodwill. And it doesn't even matter if I get there. Like, I didn't get there till 11.30. They open at 10, 10 now. So, you know, 11.30, it could be like, yeah, well, the good stuff. And, like, carts just kept coming out. These are fabulous, in my opinion. They're, like, super lightweight. I would call them not gleesh, but I don't think they are. It's not gleesh. 
There's that enamel. I had one pendant. These are vintage. They're old. And they're beautiful. But the enameling where they do it, it's a whole process. I wish I knew the name. I mean, if you do, then you know what it is and you don't need to Google it. But it's like, uh, it's like stained glass. So when you put light behind it, which I don't think this is. Well, I can't tell. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Those are gorgeous. I love some of the whole lot. And I want to take them home. Maybe I did take them home. Malachite, not a malachite. Here, here's another ring. <laughs> well, this is something. It doesn't feel like silver because it is not. It's just a cheapy. I mean, oddly, it's not. There's no tarnish or anything. It's a men's faux something stone. Maybe faux opal? Yeah. Kind of feels like, um, ugh, uncomfortable. Kind of feels like, I'm putting just trash over there for now. Like rubber. I don't know, do I bother with the snake skin? Bangle, reptile, snakey. Maybe I could put this and this together. That's cute. Huh? All right, puppy. Okay. Oh, God, dang it. Oh, magnet. Magnet. Magnet, magnet, magnet. Yeah. Where's my other new magnet? New. New piece of jewelry. Yeah. See, this one works better. See? Come with me, little ringy. I'll just put that in there. I don't even know if I'd list that. Uh, so anyways, the Goodwill in real life. I don't know if that bores you guys because it's not jewelry, but I like this. I hope it's jewelry. No, it's not. It's just faux. I mean, not faux. No. I could be wrong. I love a whatever that is. A space age cut. That's what I'm calling it. I think it says it looks like it's not at all sterling but it says something. So that doesn't mean anything. I mean, it can say something that's not saying I'm sterling. It just says something else. Tiny little fucking stamp. Hmm. Well, I like it, so I'm keeping it. Oh. S925. Right there. But there's another little stamp in here. So cool. Sterling or not, I didn't give a shit. It is sterling. I love it. Pretty. It's like a real pretty green. So yay, the, the, the ring gods. Alright, Heather. Oh, am I right? I know, I'm not funny or cute today. You gotta be one or the other, right? Funny and cute, preferably. Okay, sorry. Harry Destructy. I, you know, I like the quality of this little guy. I mean, it's not this. No. I'm having such a hard time. Where's the one, the other one like this? Oh. I thought I'd put them together because why would I not? I mean, it didn't go anywhere, but like, oh, there it is. I put it down in, in Jim Pop, which is a big bozo no no. Look how cool these are. They're not sterling, they're just metal, pot, base, whatever, alloy of some sort. But they're, oh, now that price tag. <laughs> $65. Oh, somebody was asking for these bad boys. Well, let me take it off. I'm sorry you guys couldn't get that price. Yeah, I know it's not sterling, and I'm going to prove it. Well, I'm not going to prove it. It just is doesn't have nothing about it. Feels. And I know I was wrong about that necklace. Necklace. You know, with the coral. It was absolutely sterling. And it felt like alloy. But this one, this clasp isn't sterling. I know that. I could guarantee you that. No, this is like that, like art is like, you know, like, it's not clay, but it reminds you of that. Like it's that metal, that molted metal. And that's just not really a sterling look, but they're fantastic. Those don't need to be sterling. You know what I mean? <gasps> Oh, 
yay. I can't wait to clean them. Is it the same? I mean, normally I wouldn't clean them, but this there's certain... S925. And then that other little stamp. I hate the... I mean, because, like, I won't dip these. Dip them and do them. Because I wouldn't... Yeah. That, that stuff that you get, like, at Walmart, I have a, a thing of it. Oh my god, it stinks. Like, bleh. I didn't realize that something could stink. Unfortunately, this was like Avon, I think. Avon? I believe it says Avon. Avon a hump -a -lot. Come on. A? Well, there's an A, but I saw a whole word that said A something. Avon. Wait. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it's like in when the, for a second it's like, oh yeah, that says Avon, and then it's like, does that say Avon? I mean, there's a V. So, oh, I'm sorry, that obnoxious. Yeah, Avon. Avon, oh, hump a lot. Avon, oh, hump a lot. Remember Avon, oh, hump a lot? <laughs> That was the funniest movie. Oh my god, I love these kind of things. Please don't be broken. And they're never signed. And they're never... I have another one. Not exactly, but it's very, very similar. Oh, I love this. I don't think I can sell this. Again, tri-metal, multi... Super multi. It's mostly just like copper. Hey. Oh, that's the way it's supposed to be. It's like... Can you see the, let me show you. So I'm trying to show you the whole thing. Like these are like in copper. And I, and if you look at the back, copper or gold. And I'm not saying it's copper, copper. I'm just saying it's that look that I love. And I have another one very similar, but mine, the other one, I don't think it has rhinestone. There's some wear to the thing. So that means I might have to keep it, right? If there's wear, there's wear to the, where it always is, because the oil's in people's skin. It's there. I love it, though. I'm going over there in my love pile and with my pretty, pretty rings. And I love... Well, the rings might be the same size, which would be like six and a half, because this is... This hand's smaller. So this is usually... This is probably... Oh, uh, this is probably a seven, because it's kind of... doesn't fit. It's too big. It's a little too big. I can't believe I'm getting so many rings. I like this one. It's Jesus. Jesus, no one for Sunday. I sang that completely wrong. It's pretty. It's not, there's, in, I mean, you wouldn't think I'd like that, but I kind of do. There's little tiny crosses on it. I can't think of the melody for that song. Jesus, don't want me for a sunbeam. That's it. Sunbeams, another sterling little ring are not. It's a, out of the round. And Kirsten, like I told you. Shit, I wish I had mine. Only you are smart. You have a metal mandrel. I believe yours is metal. Looks metal. Mine is not. <laughs> I'm too cheap. Mine's plastic and I was still a able to get the ring back in the round by just like, and then like kind of, you'll see. It's, it's, you'll see. So you kill two birds with one stone. It'll make it a little bigger. Oh, for joy. For the joy. She will love that. It's gorgeous for a weaving. I mean, it's not actually that gorgeous otherwise. This has been one of the funnest lots because I expected nothing. There was a lot I wanted, was it yesterday? That I didn't win? I think I found another earring. That it went for 360. And I was like, no, I'm out. I mean, I could have. Yeah, these are pretty enough to have both of them. I could have. I'm getting back down. I mean, getting back down. I'm getting down to the knee, the real nitty gritty. Um, because I could see what would have been at least a 14 karat gold. I don't know if it was a pendant. It was Native American, probably Navajo. Yeah, Navajo. Let's just. It was Navajo. I got sort of a with turquoise. So they don't. Vintage. Just kill me. 
So that was one of the big reasons I was bidding on it. Then there was like a gold ring that had a bunch of writing on it. Then there was, ori originally while I wanted a lot, was there was this strand of beautiful like Aurora Borealis square glass, you know, the kind, really long strand. That was my first reason for it. And then as I watched it as the time went on and I saw that turquoise and I'm like, well, fuck it, I'm bidding high. But, I, you know, I just, no, nah, I'm not bidding 400. I don't know. It's probably stupid. 925. Another 925. Somebody, I wonder if this, well, they're all kind of fitting. So they're all between a 6 and a 7. I don't know if this is 925. It's not marked. But all the other ones, hey, look at all these are from, this was from yesterday's lot. Ooh. This one, I kind of like this one, even if it's not... The only time I care if I'm keeping a ring if it's not sterling eh, is, well, that's not fair. I don't know. I'll have to test it. Is if it will turn my fingers. And that's like this guy. I mean, he's brass and he's old. You see me wear him all the time. On the, oh, here he is. I take him off and my whole finger is green. But I don't that I don't mind because it's something special about that ring. Yes. Anyway, so I wanted to keep that Lucian. Lucian. Now he's Lucian. Lucian. Yeah, this is already turning, but it's pretty. Um, Picard watch. But the fa this is like a, not Avon, but somebody like it. I can see if there's a signature in here or like initials. Um, can't say Gigi. No, nope. It's not Gigi. DD? PD? PD? TD. TD. That sounds funny. Just say anything else. Say something. I'm giving up on you. Well, it's just a little gold tone ring that says something. Well, it has initials. So yeah, I I mourned the loss, but. It's like when you love something, set it free. And that I love so much. And I, no, no, no. I hate to throw it away, but, and I, you know, if it would have ran perfectly, and then she told me it's a motion watch. It was made in 1970. Anyways, Lucian, did I already tell you their whole history? I think I did. Um, it was made in the 1970s. This is 925 as well. I wish this would fit my ring finger because I could wear it as a wedding ring, but no. Everything in here is like six or seven, which is okay. Better than eight or nine, right? Am I right? Um, I couldn't have been more thrilled. It's going to Ohio and it's going to a girl that totally gets it. She's gonna name him. And she's like, I can't believe nobody bought it. And I'm like, girl, I just put it up an hour ago. <laughs> believe it. So, yeah. And I was fine giving her that price. Because the last one I saw sold for 400 But it looked like it was, you know, had... This one's not... I like this one, but it's metal. Oh, maybe it'll fit. Yeah, that's smaller. That's probably a five... Five 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 or five five five. Five 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 I think. Five five five. -y. Sorry. I love these and I will list them. Oh, they're just cute. And they're trying to look like the nineteen sixties and I'm not mad at them for that. Pierced. It's cute. Yeah, I'm down to it. I'm down to it. Should I just put this ring back in? I think it's I think I did. I think it's um not marked is what I know it isn't <laughs> I won't say I think anything I'm gonna go on and on about that watch because I was like oh my god I'm keeping it I'm gonna die with it so anyway she said it's a motion watch which means when you move it runs and it's like I didn't ask her any further because because I it worked that after I got it out of the bag and put it on I didn't do anything I didn't wind it whatever and it started working and then I went to bed and when I woke up it had stopped so that would make sense, like, no, this is a weird little, is this a, <laughs> does this go on your finger, like, oh, I see, 
That's one of those. I'll wear that. I, would, I appreciate a little dingy dingy. So, and not that I, not that I was like, oh God, if I would have known that, I would have kept it. So I would want to know, no. How then, like it had the date and the date changed because it went through midnight or whatever. But then how is it that you change the date and all that and get it to the right, like I was able to get it to the right time. I did do that. I did wind the little thing into the right time. This is just gold uh, plated, gold whatever, tone. What? There was another earring. I've got so many rings on my finger now. I can't and I shan't. Okay, a lone ugly earring. And, you know, it's... Mm, just because I have five million. Oh, this is the hematite. I called it... What did I call it earlier? <sighs> Malachite. I know absolutely the difference, but sometimes, because I'm dyslexic, I flip it. And malachite and hematite, like, mm, yeah. confusing on oh, my brain and oh this is an earring I was gonna say what are these I've got some of these that there's oh never mind I don't want to get into it I'm boring myself so the hematite ring is too big and that's unfortunate because I want to try and wear everything as a wedding ring I mean I have a wedding ring but but it's just you know boring well it's not boring silver tone silver tone copper tone Okay, I'm down to it, and then it's just junky, junk, junky, funky monkey. Oh, I like this. This has got to be sterling, by the way. It's patinaed. My guess. Well, let's magnet first, and then we don't have to do any more heavy lifting. Okay, the mag it's not magnetic. It's just black, like sterling gets. And yes. Let's tell if this is sterling or 925. Dang it. Travis. Travis is good for the overview. And then you gotta bring in, oh my God, this better not, okay. I just got a new one, cause yeah, 925, but it says something else. Does it say 925 Avon? Is that a thing? Oh, damn it. Yes. It might be 925 Avon. Or I might just be thinking, Sometimes I can't see with this, like the angle. I can't, it could be Avon, but it's pretty. Oh, it's you, it's, it's gotta be at least a, I don't know, seven and a half. Uh, sorry, if I say huge and your fingers are like an eight, your body's probably, oh, well, stop going on about that. Your body's probably half the size of mine. Eh, yeah. So I could still be a hand model, like, well, I mean, I couldn't really, but you know what I'm saying? If I was a hand model, it's like, oh, well, your fingers didn't get any fatter. Yeah, we'll still, we'll still do the shoot. These are cute little tortoise. I don't know why I'm a sucker for tortoise. Little tortoise chow. Little tortoise chow. Sucker, I tell you, sucker. Uh, I should have put on lipstick. I should have tried to be all cute. I just was too hungry, and then my husband was sweet enough to make a big fat quesadilla. Quesadilla. I'm just digging through the same thing, and there's nothing else in here. Um, I'll show you. Just this. But I am so surprised by this lot, kids. Yeah, don't think I missed something. Although, is that... Oh, no. There's a tortoise. Is there two tortoise earrings, bigger ones? Because I would probably, like, put this... Yeah, I would put these... Oh, now see, no, that's a broken one. Me, see, she's no longer an earring and that just can't do anything with that. So it just went in the trash. The rest of this bag was going in the trash. Okay, so we'll recap. We'll be There's another little froggy. Do I bother with this cheap, fresh crystal collection? Hold on, I'll show you. He wants, he doesn't want to go. He don't want to go. How much was it? Oh no, I'm not that bald. Three ninety nine, little froggies. I don't know about this. Okay, so to recap, uh, yeah, this earring's hanging on. Oh, maybe my sister can use that. Never mind. This fantastic because I love it. It's just I'm trying to figure out the cut of its jib, like. 
the way it's crafted, they use like these two for that, and it, it has a name on it. Then they use the safety chain, and not only a safety chain, but also this, which I was trying to straighten out so I can use it. And you know, it's sterling silver, and the, the whatever long lady S name I read to you. Oh, there. Oof. It's just a little straightening. I mean, I wasn't worried that it was, I messed it up. It just got like caught on itself. I wouldn't want to come loose. And I don't want to put it on again, even though it has a safety chain. Safety chain's huge. It's just going to fall to the floor, right? How's that safety chain going to save anything? Okay, you guys, hold on. And it's kind of big on me, so I think I can put it on. Yeah, I can take it off without undoing it, so that's cool. It's just heavy. I just know it has a story. Okay, so all these rings, oh my god, all this jewelry. I saw this, like I said, in the bag, and I just loved it. It's very cool, can I just say. It's a wide fold over vintage. And somebody said the other day, and I, won't, I don't even know who they were, but they, it wasn't anybody we all know. I'll just say that. They were doing like a clasp review of vintage or vintage jewelry. And they were just so wrong. I just wanted to be like, stop. You're wrong. Don't be teaching people. Like they said that the C clasp was modern, maybe from the 60s or 70s. C clasp was from 19, like, 100, maybe 1920. C clasp is as old as dirt. And then she didn't even talk about fold over clasps, which are hugely on everything vintage. Bracelets and necklaces. Okay, anyways, I digress. Not that I'm not all knowledgeable, but I just hate to hear like, and there's one other thing. The only thing she had right was like lobster call, lobster claw, lobster claw, lobster claw is um, not vintage, you know, not 1960s, 70s, whatever. No, never mind. I don't want to sit here and figure out what she did wrong. My life's too short. All sterling. Well, not that guy and not that. I believe that. That. Love these, though. Love this one better because of the light green. This would be more peridot, or is this more peridot? I'm lousy with stone ID. Precious stones, not precious stones. I'm never going to comment on your thing when you're like, um, what kind of stone is this? And say, that is a uh, metropolis agate these stone people kill me I mean I love it I envy it but if it's a if it's a stone and I don't know it's agate it's all agate and I know there's a lot of like I love this ring wish I had your mandrel Kristen and I would just be able to go I can probably straighten this one out on my mandrel most of them are very easy. Like, you probably couldn't straighten. Well, I don't even have. Yeah, I mean, you couldn't straighten maybe a ring. Super thick. Like, okay, I'm gonna find one. I'll find you. Like this one's pretty heavy. It's new. But you, you, I don't. You wouldn't be able to straighten that. But I could tell by your opal. Your uh, you don't have to put man-made. Just put um lab created 99.9% .9 of opals out there today are lab created and that doesn't mean they're bad some lab created are expensive Native Americans use lab creative creative created I mean they also used to use triplets and doublets and maybe solid I don't know but anyways so there's no shame in that game but that yeah your mandrel I need to spring for a metal mandrel, but I could tell by looking at yours, you should be able to just, you just, yeah, you'll do it. I have faith in you, man. Okay, come on now. How long have I been going? Eh, it's a short one. 
Okay, okay, okay. The love, 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 love. Where all the rings I have on. I mean, this is sterling, but I mean, I love it. And these are just, um, I don't know what they are. Oh, I'm cold. Love, love, love these earrings. And like I said, I think this, there's another earring in the other room. And they're cool enough. They're, you know, hammered vintage brass. They're cool enough. But I love these. My June statement. PayPal, go fuck yourself. I'm just kidding. I actually like PayPal. PayPal only did me wrong once in the 20 years that I've been with them. Yes, 20 years. I said it. Um... Love. I love. So I'll just, yeah. And then I love a lot of these bracelets. I mean, I like. I shouldn't say love, but I am. I am not angry with most of these bracelets. I don't know. Snake tried to snake its way in. <laughs> Snake's like, can I come in and be in the picture? I'm pretty. Oh, sneaky. You're just, you're hanging by a thread there, bro. Hanging by a thread. Oh, yeah. I got these. Well, at least these. Another India. I hope that doesn't sound, that doesn't sound like I'm like making fun of India, right? I just love India. And I tend to not be able to say anything just straight like it's supposed to be said, as you might have noticed. I just thought this is so pretty. I'm checking for, well, there's not a lot of stones and none are missing. I'm going to see it on my wrist. And I'm not even a fliddler, fliddler, but that's pretty, right? Am I right? Come on now. I mean, it may not be coming back off my wrist. I would, okay, I need to get this, this one off because it's going to be hard to get on and off. I would maybe sell the cloison. Hmm. That's a clamper bangle. Is that what that's called? When it does what it does? Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Clamper bangle? Cl clamper? I think so. Or just a clamper. Clamp on, clamp off. The clamper. This is just a really slick one. It's really pretty. I will take it off. And I love, 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 love. Like I said, I saw this in the picture and I'm like, well, I'll just get it for that. Just that. I'm good. But. Do it. Yeah, this is just nice. And I don't usually like, like I would call modern cloison. But this one is nicely made. It's beautiful. That's actually cloison. Because, and it's called cloison. It's not cloison. It's not, I've heard other pronunciations. It's cloison. Sorry. <laughs> oh shit, my husband hates me. Because I correct this shit all the time. And I say things wrong, so I'm not, you know what I mean? But it just, it's like, it's like a tick with me. If I hear somebody pronounce things wrong too many times, it's not like, oh, you dumbass. It's not that at all. It's like a tick for me. Like when I hear somebody say, um, haven't heard it in a long time. I have to repeat it. That's slightly Tourette's. Um, there's a few words. My husband would know if he'd walk in here. He'd say the word and I'd have to repeat it. Dang it. Might be, s oh, sonar. Sonar. I can't not, I can't not repeat it. Anyways, my point, it's like a tick for me. It isn't, it isn't on purpose. It isn't me judging. There's a scratch on this. I guess I could say that. <laughs> well, yeah, I would say that. I'd take a picture and say there's, you know. Because other than that, it doesn't, the cloison is beautiful. So, as said it before, genuine cloison as opposed to, I don't think it's fake cloison. I don't know what you'd call it, but it has this wiring. You can feel it. It's raised and probably like mod, this is modern. So the, I think I had a bracelet the other day that was old. You can feel it and see it even more in the vintage pieces. And then if it's, if you can't feel it or see it, then it's just enameled and it's not actually even cloison. I'm not gonna, don't take that to the bank. Don't be the one of those, I'm not one of those people that are like, well, some things I know 100% for a fact, but that's not one of them, so I'm not gonna pretend I do. Okay, and then this one. I just like it, because I do. 
All right, I'm gonna end. Sonar. With all this beauty, right. I will be back with my hard goods, which was not a, you know, this has gotta be more like an eight. An eight won't even stay on my thumb. Anyhow, I'll be back with hard goods. Small, but mighty. And you'll like it. Okay, bye.